Whew. Good girl. I'll get here. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> now you can use. How to build value with a puppy. Now this is Chimera. She's not a dog that I'm keeping, but it's a kennel partner's dog. For one, as I said, hold the dog for at least one minute a day. She's a loving dog. Second, take her out to environments. Let her explore. So, oh my baby. <laughs> she has a trust that's been built with both Jamarcus and I. And the more exposure she gets to new environments, what do you think ends up happening? the more confident she becomes as a dog. So, I'll pause, let her wander off. Every time she comes back, you give her a little bit. Good girl. Because technically, that's a non-verbal recall. It's technically her checking in. And so, we'll take a few more steps. Good girl. I'll get here. Girl. Now you can use treats and slowly but surely build, you know, toys and flirt poles and bite pillows and things. But she's she's doing a good job now, mind you. She's been being worked with. But one of the number one causes, as I've said in another video, of dogs ending up at the shelter is miscommunication. You get a dog, you don't know how to talk to the dog. Dog chewing up things, and you thought you had the time, and you realize I didn't. I don't have the time for this dog because they are a lot of time. The first two years, critical, the first years is, is for me, life and death. And then year three, things get cool. Year five, life is good. Life is good. And she, again, she doesn't know me from Adam, I'm playing. I bred her, you know, I was in there harassing her a few times, chastising her to building her up. But she's doing such a good job. And mind you, this is a stage where you want them to go and be curious. You want them to learn a little bit about the water. I wouldn't mind if she fell in. You say, uh-uh, okay. Then you help her up if she couldn't get out. And that'll teach her a little lesson. You don't want her to drive no, have no fear, of course. But she's like, okay, go learn about your environment. Go see what's going on. And then, how do you get them to walk off leash? By showing the value when there is nobody around without the leash. So right now, we're out in this beautiful park type area where there's trails. Nobody's around, there's minimal to no distractions, and then slowly but sure you build distractions, which is building an opportunity for you and your dog to become closer. She doesn't know her name name, but she knows her name, so she knows it enough. Come here, see? What she does know is that I'm a value. She does know I feed her. She does know that she's been around me literally since the day she was born. <laughs> and what she does know is that she's safe for the most part if she's with me. So, three things I would focus on. Environment, everything. Environment really starts in your home. Second, making sure that if there are people in your home that one person is in charge. Doesn't mean other people can't tell the dog to sit, stay, down, lay, whatever, but it has to be one person that the dog knows is both alpha and omega. Third, the more exposure your dog gets, the more confidence it has. The more confident it becomes, the more you can trust your dog in situations and the dog can trust you. If your dog gets into a situation you're not familiar with how they're gonna react, they might bite, and bite doesn't mean a bad thing. It's a bad thing for some people, <laughs> the other person, but when a dog bites, that's how they communicate. And it could be a defensive bite, which is like, yo, why are you doing that to me? Why are you touching me like that? And that's why we rub and harass them everywhere. So that if anybody runs up and grabs them, the dog's not weirded out by it. They're like, yo, what are you doing? They might be like, yo, what are you doing? Who are you? But they, don't, they shouldn't react. They shouldn't react. And that is practice, that's patience, that's commitment, that's consistency. That's discipline. And that's, the discipline starts and ends with you people, period. Starts and ends with you. So. <laughs> all things that I love to see. And you know with this, all transferable. So if she does go to another home, which she's going to our kennel partners, they'll be able to do a lot of the same amazing things with their, cut a lot of their work in half, but we're doing the work to make sure that she turns out great. Stay tuned, people. Take care of your dogs. And in this case, take care of your pup.